I wanted an elephant all my life. I had no idea what I was getting into. It's hard to think that maybe I'd made a mistake to take this elephant's life and merge it with mine. She was captured as a baby, and it scarred her. David came along and said, I love you. I'll take care of you. You're perfect. I'm going to make you the star of the show. But that's not enough. Flora, stop it. She is mischievous, which, as she got older, I thought she might lose. But instead, it's getting worse. Throw her down all the way. She just doesn't seem to be enjoying performing anymore. Go ahead, all the way. We needed another life for her. She needed to be an elephant, not a dog or a daughter. There aren't really any good options. I mean, I could sell her, I could give her to a zoo, but I want her to have a better life than that. That's all right. I'm not leaving you. Come on, hurry. Move up. Isn't that adorable? It's adorable. Well, I know there's a number of zoos that are actually renovating their facilities. Yeah. Good morning. We've been together for 16 years. She's definitely going to outlive me. Could you have her here? Not at the present time. It's OK. She totally misbehaved. She acted out. Can you go throw a rock at me? Oh, thank you. If Flora wanted to hit us with that rock, she would have. That was a very big rock. She was just plunked down in this orphanage and expected to get along fine, and she didn't. And I blamed it on you. David never did anything bad to Flora. This isn't a rescue. This was a planned matriculation. Flora is the example of all that can go wrong with the best of intentions. I am sure he will never, ever be able to, to part from her. You know, I love her, and she loved me as simple as that.